The sun, our star. It provides us with energy producing its core. Here, protons merge together to create helium. This nuclear reaction releases energy. In the outer layers, the heat moves in convective cells. Here, electrical currents of charged gas creates magnetic fields that eventually push their way through the surface. The gas pushed the magnetic fields further outwards. Several millions of tons of gas is ejected from the sun, creating the solar storm. Dublin Trinity College The solar physics group, directed by Dr. Peter Gallagher, is studying the phenomena. Hi, my name is Pietro and I'm a PhD student. My research involves the understanding of solar activity and its connection with technology. Understanding the physics behind the solar activity will enable us to predict the arrival time of solar storms on Earth. Solar activity can be disrupted for satellites, wireless telecommunications, power grids, oil pipelines and astronaut missions. Together with my supervisor, Dr. Peter Gallagher, and my colleague, Owen Carley, we have created a radio observatory. The main instrument of the observatory is the Callisto radio spectrograph. It is used to measure the radio emission from the sun. Burr, County Offaly. This location is exceptionally radio quiet. The full remote control antenna is recording the solar activity day by day, providing important information about the solar storm starting time and its propagation through space. But what's the future of the observatory? Well, the Ross Observatory was really a first step at trying to develop a capability in Ireland to monitor the sun. But the next step for Ireland is to develop a really advanced facility, and that facility is called LOFAR. Now, LOFAR is a European project that the Europeans have invested 200 million euros in and Ireland wants to be part of that. LOFAR will bring Irish scientists to the forefront of European and in fact global astronomy. Um, it will enable us to take fine resolution pictures of the surface of the Sun and get a real understanding of what's happening on the Sun and ultimately how the Sun affects us on, on, on Earth. Let's return to space to see what happens to the solar storm. After six hours, the storm reached the planet Mercury, and then after 12 hours, Venus. After 16 hours, the storm arrives on Earth. The Earth's magnetic field deflects the storm, protecting the Earth. Some of the magnetic fields coupled together, creating a tunnel for the gas that streams on the pole creating a spectacular result, the auroras. The same cause of these spectacular auroras can be a problem for technology. This is what my research investigates. Thank you.